This video is going to feature the Jewish ghetto in Krakow, very close to here. And in the years 1941 to 43, the German occupiers moved all of the Jews from Krakow into a, a very small area, about 20,000 people crammed into a small neighborhood. Um, that's what the Jewish ghetto was. The neighborhood is in a part of the city called Podgorzia. Uh, it's just over the river from here. Uh, it's a tragic story because 20,000 people living in a very condensed, not great area. Uh, many were massacred and lost their lives in the time that they were in the ghetto. Many were moved to Auschwitz um, and in 1943, the Germans built another concentration camp actually within the city um, called Plaza or Plazov. And when they moved some of the occupants of the ghetto to that labor camp, uh, they annihilated those that were left and remaining in, in the ghetto itself, which is why after 1943, there were no more Jews in, in the ghetto because they were they were now moved to the camps or to, to Auschwitz or just or just killed. Particularly in March 1943, it was a there was a, a day when many 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 were were massacred. So since the neighbourhoods here, I think it's important to know the story, uh, what happened here, and to not forget those events. Many of the events in in the the ghetto were featured in the movie Schindler's List. I'm not planning on retelling that story of Schindler today. I'm going to visit the, and I'm not going to visit the the factory today. I'll I'll do that at some other time. Uh, today just features the the, the ghetto itself uh, and some of the the locations that we can go and see today uh, in the ghetto. Hi, uh, here we are on another weekend in Krakow uh, in January. And right behind me here is Father Bernatek's bridge. Uh, it's a pedestrian bridge which connects this part of the city that I'm standing in now, which is my home, called Kazimierz. And it crosses the Vistula River to the other side to an area of the city called Podgorzia, uh, which, which has huge historical significance. Um, if you've ever seen the, the movie Schindler's List, uh this is the the part of the city that really it, it sort of tells the story of of that uh and we're going to be learning more about it today so this is the market square of uh Podgorzia, and behind me here is saint joseph's church dating back from uh early 20th century like 1905 time which it's known for its uh, sort of uh, it's, it's a beautiful building and known particularly for its uh, imposing spire uh, and around here on this square this was close to the one of the main gates um, to the, the the ghetto itself um, so this church behind me really stood star towering over here all, all through the time of the the Jewish ghetto here in this part of town so the building on the left of the picture is where uh, right next to it the the main gate was built to the Jewish ghetto. And the building itself, as you can see here, was uh, the center of the Jewish council, which was uh, built and occupied by the German occupiers. So here's Father Bernatek's bridge. And you know, how close is the bridge in Kazimierz to the ghetto? Well, let me just turn around. You can see the bridge there, and now here is Josefinska Street and if you look at the map of, of the ghetto that I'll, I'll put up on the video you, you see that this kind of diagonal street just sort of cuts through the the ghetto itself so it's really you know looks like one of the main one of the main streets of the, the ghetto and a number of the buildings in here have some of the, the horrific and terrifying stories related to this um, and then down at the bottom you you end up right next to uh, Ghetto Hero Square which is a very important part so literally you just cross the bridge 
come and you start walking down this street and you're really uh, right, right in the ghetto. So as I said, uh, Josephinska Street runs diagonally through the center of the, the ghetto, kind of slicing it in two there, and there's a number of buildings of real significance on the street, including this one, which was the employment office where the, the German occupiers determined who they were going to send to the uh, enforced uh, labor camps. Uh, this tragic building was the site of um, a hospital in the ghetto. Uh, the Germans murdered all of the, the occupants here when they carried out their extermination of, of everybody in the, in the ghetto. And finally, this building here was the site of a Jewish self-help center in, in the ghetto. Um, and there's also significance because the building next door to it uh, was a daycare, and during the German liquidation in March 1943, the Germans massacred all the children. Um, behind me on Josephinska Street, really very close to the, to the bridge and to, to the river, um, but a number of, of buildings here on the, on the significance. Um, it's a a street you can't help walking down without a tear. There's quite a number of buildings on this street and you know you can just see they really haven't changed so much in a long long time so you can understand that this is pretty much what they would have looked like perhaps uh, during the time of the of the ghetto and every one of these old old buildings you know just has so many stories and histories of people to, to tell. It's actually still kind of very residential apart from a few plaques and things around. Um, you know, it's a, it's a neighborhood that's uh, still lived in, but just a lot of a lot of things here still unchanged from, from that time. Uh, right behind me here, uh, which is now now it's now a museum, but in the in the time of the ghetto, this was Eagle Pharmacy, and it uh, was still a pharmacy uh, serving serving all the the Jews that were moved here into the ghetto. So it really was a, a vital a vital building, a vital place for those that were here in that that time. Um, you could you could do a whole video on the story of this pharmacy and its owner, you know, who's been recognised much like Schindler for all of the things that he did to help the people in the ghetto at that time. the The pharmacy itself is just off this town square behind me, and you can see all the chairs like spaced around. This this was the town square the, of of the ghetto, and uh, so much so much happened here in that in that time, um, including some some of the worst atrocities. But it was also a, a meeting place and a place of gathering for for the Jews that were placed here during those years that they were there was the ghetto. So today it's marked with this monument of the the chairs that are that are spaced out like this. Um, it's the it's renamed Heroes Square. Um, there's a little German guardhouse just at the back, which we'll go and take a take a look at. But um, really, this was the this was a scene de depicted several times in in the the film Schindler's List, and just just an area of such you just have such immense feeling here. It really doesn't look like much, does it? You see the cars going by and you kind of just think it's just a, a simple place, but the historical significance of this square and the pharmacy is it's just massive. Um, it's a place to just to come and reflect for a while. This is Ghetto Heroes Square, 
And as I mentioned earlier, there's, there's actually 70 chairs here that are spaced out. This, this monument dates back to 2005 and the chairs are sort of are meant to recognize that this was a place of departure because many of the residents of the ghetto moved from this square, were moved from this square to the camps. Um, and also the chairs represent absence of those who uh, obviously became absent after they were they left they left this place. And the, the hut down there at the back of the square, you can see 1941 to 1943, which was the years that the, the ghetto housed the thousands of Jews that were that were brought here. Um, you know, 1943 it ended because the Nazis basically annihilated the whole population one way or another and so this little guardhouse here was the Nazi guardhouse for the years that the ghetto was in existence and uh, yeah that's where the it's, it's locked now you can't go and look around it but that's that's where the guards were I think anybody that comes to Krakow for whatever reason to visit, so many reasons to come to this amazing city for, for many, many, many fantastic times that people have had and will continue to have. But I honestly think that anybody that comes to this city should, should invest a few hours in watching Schindler's List before they come, which really you know, depicts the story of the Jews in Krakow, the story of the ghetto, the story of this this neighborhood in particular um, because I think when you come here it's it's really worth spending a few hours to, to reflect and just come here and uh, take in this area of such huge significance for the world really um, and kind of understand what what some of these things are that, that are here that you might not you might not know about or you might drive past and not realize the significance of them and i think that would be a shame if you were in the city and 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 you did that um the the camp at auschwitz is not not so far from the city and there's a, a lot of people take the time to go there but i don't know if everybody realizes that within the city itself this neighborhood and the ghetto really had a hugely significant story sort of closely connected to the camps and you know this is not a museum this is just something you can walk around there's no guides around here um but you can just walk around it and uh i think it's i think it's important to know the story and to, to spend a few hours thinking about that on any on any visit to krakow i highly recommend it side of the pharmacy. If you turn around from the square, there's a signpost here. Um, and it's right at the top. This is one of importance, pointing in the direction to Plazao, the concentration camp. So if you watch Sindler's List again, you'll notice that they, they, they built a concentration camp in the city, not so far from here at all. And this is where many of the Jews were moved from the ghetto. So that in fact, once the, the camp was built, that's when the Nazis decided to annihilate the people living in the, the ghetto. And if the Jews, were not killed or sent to Auschwitz. Many of them went to this work camp, a concentration camp, which is still in the city, and it's 
it's just a kind of area of it's not a museum or anything now uh, it's not even something that's like a tourist attraction or, or anything like that something even fairly difficult to access I think but um, just it's an important part of the story and one that, that I think you need to, to note and recognize when you're here in this place so what's of significance in this video shot you might ask well the significance is, is the wall if you look behind me uh, you see the wall with a kind of sem semicircular top and this is one of the the few fragments that's left of the ghetto wall built by the nazis uh, the wall was the ghetto was built to encase the jewish population of, of krakow and keep keep them imprisoned there so it surrounded the ghetto and now not much of it is is remains uh, this piece i understand is one of the bigger bigger pieces uh it's actually just it's behind a school right next to the the playground um again just another one of the 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 sites around here that's that's so evocative and emotional believe the story would you if you just see a kids playground here look so pretty today and the sun and the snow well, here it is if you watch uh, Schindler's List you do see it feature on some of the scenes it's quite distinctive I hope you found this video interesting, informative. Maybe I, I told you some things you, you didn't know about. Um, and if you get a chance to crack out, to come to crack out, to, to come and see it and feel it for yourself. It's of huge importance. It goes without saying to never forget the 6 million Jews who lost their lives in World War II and in particular 65,000 Jews, Polish Jews from Krakow, um, that we told a little bit of that story of those, those people today. Never forget.